Hello guys, another day, another vlog, another trek. Today it's going to be a very, very long one. We're starting here from Paradise Bay. I'm here. There's another vlog up here, you can see it. We're going to Popeye's Village again and showing you around a bit Popeye's Village, then to the park Tal Maestral and looping back. Let's trek! One, two, three. Yeah! One of the biggest fossils I have ever seen. Impossible is nothing. Okay, let's start. One, two, let's go. going down guys we came from there to that window through these boulders let me show you bouldering now we're going down and we're searching for a, a sort of a window in the, in the rocks We're trekking and searching. Hop! Yeah. There it is. You! Guys, this is what we call Sitcha, Vlad Mata I think. Whoever knows what exactly this is, we're putting it here. Look, look. Let me show you. Walking the tart was was really nice guys eh? look here how nice how beautiful we're going down there guys that's the farthest point you can go to the west of Malta as you can see on the on the map up here I'm going to pin you the location and we're going over there let's go More bouldering, more bouldering. We have been over there, behind. And we're bouldering, bouldering. And we have to go all around there. As you can see, still there. Pastor Maestral. Ooh, long day today, long trek. From this point you can see it's hot there eh? this morning it was nearly raining now this is the, the narrowest part of Malta now as you can see you can see the part there over Adira Adira Bay and then over Meliha that's Meliha over there and we're going over there and that's the other part of Malta the west the west side and the east side let's continue we are here near the wastewater treatment plant in Meliha the Chomneya school so here eventually, actually, they 
recycle our waste water. Let's carry on walking. We've been walking all the way from there, guys. I'm here. All through those white rocks over there. Up, up, down. Now we're here and walking all over to Papai's village behind. Let's go and see what's in Papai's village. I've been there only when I was young, I think. It's a long time since I've been there, so maybe it has changed. Let's see the buildings. A film was, was produced there and then they kept looking after it and preserving it as a Popeye's village. Guys, I have to admit with you, this is one of the most beautiful places I have ever been in Malta. My God, look, the colors, sun, awesome, amazing, guys. I'm really happy I'm sharing this with you. Welcome to Malta very soon. Look at the views, guys. Here, we're in another, in another edge. She's saying, oh, don't go out on yet, the edge. Look, this is the narrowest part of Malta. As you can see up here on the map, we're here. Let me take you around. More rocks, rocks, rocks. Look, on this side as well. There's Popeye's village. We're going down there. She's eating, <laughs> having a break. Hello! So we're going down there. And then, look, there are a lot of caves behind there, down there, guys. Sometime we will go visiting them as well. Maybe by, by sea. And we're going there, Park Tal Maestral as well. If we manage, we're going to eat something now. We are walking over Papai's village here. And there is this fence, guys, along, along all here. This is there for safety reasons, because the rock, the rocks here, there is a big cut off sort of and in order to prevent someone getting injured they did this fence all along behind me guys you can see Papai's village very well kept some of them are pizzerias eateries sort of they told me because I'm not so good at English one today hope you are liking and subscribing to our channel guys at least you make us some extra courage to keep on giving you these tags so we're going uphill it's a bit tougher I have to to tell you guys I've never been to this part of Malta so I'm doing it for the first time and I'm doing it with you thanks to you I'm exploring more of our beautiful Seascapes, look. The rocks are a bit dangerous here. They're, they are falling from time to time. So, look for example, this one. This one here has just fallen off from there and going down, down, down. So it's very important to be cautious when trekking down there. Here we arrived in an area called. Irdumid Delhi. As you can see up here. We're still going down. And we're going and there over there. It's called Rasel Wash. Part of the Maestral Park then. We're trekking, trekking, trekking. Attached to this rock guys. There are a lot of fossils as you can see. But mostly what struck my attention was this big one. As big as the palm of my hand nearly. Someone broke it of course one of the biggest fossils i have ever seen we found the flight of stairs guys look this is what we were searching for thanks to her obviously because i don't know the area much so these are rock cut rock cut stairs pure marble <laughs> granite uh, then more like so what kind of rock is this? Globigerina. The Montes Islands are made up of five different layers of rocks. 
the upper coral limestone, which is found at the top of the five-layer sequence, is the youngest layer, since it was the last layer to be formed. The upper coral limestone is still found exposed across the Maltese Islands, as can be seen in this vlog. This rock layer breaks down into a rich, fertile soil called Terra Rossa soil. We have to go there now. There's a flight of stairs up there again. We go through this passage. So this is part of Park Al Maestral? Yes. The answer was yes. Look at these shrubs guys, how nice. How beautiful. Beautiful shrubs. Ooh. The plant here is Cuscuta epitmum, commonly known as the dodder or pitma in Maltese, which is a very common sight during this time of the year in our garig. It is reddish in color as you can see because it lacks the green pigment of chlorophyll. In fact, it does not need the sunlight to produce its food, but it gets its nutrients from the plants, the host plants. As you can see, in this case, uh, it is parasitizing the Maltese Spurge, which is also an endemic plant species, which we find growing only in the Maltese Islands. The last flight we were looking for. Look how beautiful. Overlooking this landscape, Russell Wash. Hello. Hello. Oh, nice. Hello. Meow. We're walking and we we found the pigeon here. It's very friendly. But I think if we go closer, it will fly. Hello, pigeon. You see? Bye, bye. We're on our way back now. Are you tired or not yet? Sort of. Sort of. She's sort of tired. Even I am a bit tired. How long have we, have we been walking? Six hours. Uh, more. Six hours. Or a bit more. Ahead of us is the Torre Lahmar. St. Agatha Tower, I think it's called. It has been refurbished lately. It's beautiful. Eh? Some people go there and take some photos with the red background. We're going up there and on our way back to where we started our trek from. One, two, three. One, two, three. Those trekking here, everyone knows this, the stairs, how hard they are. We've been walking about seven hours now. And I'm trying to do this, running it up. There's nothing, there's no price at the end, but for the satisfaction of doing it, okay? Let's start. CNG Trek Ventures, impossible is nothing. Okay, let's start. One, two, let's go. Gasping for bread, guys, but I cannot not show you this here. Very few people know about these things that they are called them jiba in Maltese. I don't know exactly how they are called in English. One of our followers uh, suggested to to show you these. Look how nice, guys! <coughs> wow! As you can see, we saw them. We saw more or less like them or in the other vlog it's up here in the link up here oh how nice look you see these used to come in from from those holes let me take off the, the light so that you you can enjoy more those are the holes 
these are more natural than the ones we saw. Let's go out of here. We continued our trek, guys, from uh, from those in Jiba. When you lay close to the end of this trek, I would like to thank you, specifically those when, when I'm doing treks with friends or alone. Some of the time I, I meet, some, sometimes I meet people trekking like I'm doing, and they, some, some of them stop and tell me, listen, is it, is it you, Conrad, from doing the, jo the, the vlogs all around? And it's a real pleasure meeting people outside and having a small chat at a, at a distance, obviously wearing the masks but it, it really means a lot to me your support and people texting me listen for example now i've just received a message from john and i saw him when, when we were passing through papaya's village he was flying his drone and he sent me a text message telling me was it you there in fact i texted john again and asked him if he would like to give us some some drone shots from the ones he got and the, the drone shots you saw earlier of papaya's village are his. I love collaborating guys. We help each other in this in this thing. And why not? We try to to give credit where credit is due and support each other again as I told you. It's really I, I can't explain the feeling. It's really nice having your support guys. So um, keep on subscribing keep on uh, sending your messages and suggesting us where to go and we will try to do our best. Nineteen kilometers after, one thousand three hundred calories less. Hope you can see them now. How was it? How, how was the trek? Fantastic, good. Fantastic. So she enjoyed it as well. Even I uh, today we had some bouldering. We didn't do a lot of distance, but it was tough. Eh? I feel my muscles aching now. Kudos to Asola for the shoes. No, no sign of blisters or anything. Um, hope you enjoyed watching new new spots on this island, guys, and learning new things with us. Thanks for the footages and for the information. With the sunset behind us, nothing else from my side. Until next time, Saha Uslim.